So the uh, 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 BB and chip has been approved in peripheral T cell lymphomas where the CD30 expression uh, is high and particularly in this, in this uh, subset of peripheral T cell lymphoma which is called ALCL, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. It's made a huge difference, met the primary endpoint uh, of PFS and overall survival in the Echelon 2 study and that study is now uh, also uh, published a five-year follow-up data and uh, what was not seen in that cohort of patients uh, was the uh, responses in the non-ALCLs. There, there were a few patients with non-ALCLs who were CD30 positive that are enrolled in the study. And just to remind the, the inclusion criteria for the study was to have CD30 expression of 10% or higher. And uh, all ALCLs obviously have 100% expression of CD30. And then you had uh, the non-ALCLs like the PTCLNOS and the angioplastic T cell lymphoma that had a P uh, CD30 expression about 10%, scored both locally and centrally. And uh, there was responses seen. Uh, the, the survival benefit is very clear in ALCLs because the, uh, the group E2, uh, the echelon 2, was enriched for the ALCL population. In the non-ALCLs, the PDCLNOS and AITL, and you saw some responses in PDCLNOS. In the AITL, it is very hard to say because, and of course, the numbers are very small. And uh, so, the, it was, so, while that was a very good study and that led to the approval of this combination in CD30 positive ALCLs and the non-ALCLs, uh, we wanted to explore the question of whether it also made an impact in those patients with the CD30 expression less than 10% all the way to zero, which means less than 1% expression. And so the poster that I have, uh, I had yesterday, la last evening, uh, was looking at CHP or uh, with BV, chip BV, in patients with non-ALCL PTCL uh, that had expression of less than 10% or even zero expression, newly diagnosed patients and what the responses are. So we, have, we are presenting our first data uh, cut. Uh, it, it is a single arm study. Uh, looking at uh, non-ALCL patients with less than 10% or zero expression of CD30. And uh, there were about 55 patients enrolled and uh, 46 patients got at least one dose of treatment. And the CD30 was uh, uh, measured both locally and also into a central lab. And the, cent and the local labs, uh, you had a majority of the patients between one and 10%. And, uh, and about uh, 19 patients or so with less than 1%. And then in the central lab, the, the number of uh, slides reviewed were a little, a little uh, lower than the uh, local review at this point in time, that'll change. Um, and we saw very similar kind of b breakdowns. And what we did see was the response rates were pretty high. In the less than 1%, the overall response rate is 84% with about 57% CRs. In the 1 to 10%, the, the overall response rate is about 78% with about 58% CRs. So in other words, even in this patient population where the CD30 expression was not that very high, uh, you are seeing responses with this CHIP BV regimen. Of course, it's not a randomized study. But these are more patients uh, than what was seen in the Echelon uh, 2 study. And the signals are pretty clear that, that at least that, that CD30 is important. But what cells express CD30 is also even more important. And that's the unknown question. Hopefully, this study will be able to answer.